It's the 25th of August and here are some European tech news for you. Tesla announced yesterday that they opened orders on the Model 3 as well as the new and approved Model S and X in Poland, Hungary, Romania and Slovenia. The first Romanians on Reddit who ordered the first cars have now the status estimated delivery early 2020 which is actually pretty okay compared to the rollout speed to other Europe so far. And what I could find regarding on some incentives for those local governments are that Romania has something called Rabla Plus incentive which goes up to 10,000 euros and Hungary has a 21% rebate system which goes up to 4,800 euros. But no love, unfortunately, for Slovenia and Poland. During Tesla's second quarter earnings call, Elon Musk mentioned that the location of the European Gigafactory, which will be the fourth, will be finalized before the end of this year. From the info we have so far, it's either going to be in Emsland or in Emden, that's in northwest Germany. I feel like Elon is playing a pretty sneaky tactical game on Twitter here because the last June he tweeted basically So Germany made a really good offer for a factory In more old school tech news, Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania, showed off 2000 radios on an installation dedicated to the 30th anniversary of the Baltic Wave, which was this weekend the radio installation, entitled One Wave, was 19 meters wide and 16 meters high. And the radios played a, a trilingual song known to be as the anthem of the Baltic Wave, entitled The Baltics Are Waking Up. Why radios? Well, this was the way to communicate back in the day. Also, this weekend, happy 28th Independence Day, Ukraine. But back to tech news and to Norway, which is the country with the most electric cars per capita right now. And they just reported that gasoline demand specifically for cars dropped by about 5% compared to last year. They compared July of last year and this year and they are expecting that the number will be even higher during the winter months, probably around 10% because the rollout of electric cars picked up really in speed in the last year. As it stands right now, every third new car in Norway is electric. Norwegians, good job, we are jealous. And starting from yesterday, you can now experience the fall of the Berlin Wall in virtual reality. The VR tour is located next to the Checkpoint Charlie site, which was the gate between East and West Germany. The tour is called Time Ride, and the founder Jonas Ruft sees the tour as an opportunity for reflection. Quote, I think the most asked question at Checkpoint Charlie is, where's the wall? And to create this wall and to make it possible to experience it, that absolutely comes with a responsibility, but also the chance to make people think about how things back then were and what can we learn from it today. I personally feel like VR is a really good application for those kind of memory lane tours. If it's well done, of course. I would love to do the moon landing in VR. Houston, there was a sweaty person in here before me. Links to all the articles below and thanks for watching and click on the face and stuffs and bye! <laughs> this was actually my first time using the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Hope it picked up everything and everything is fine with sound. Alright.